Okay, this video is going to illustrate how easy Wix is to use and the platform itself. Um, and we're going to take it from head to toe. So, first and foremost, the thing that you'll do is when you operate on Wix, you'll go to Wix.com and you'll see a sign in area. Now, you can sign in on any type of browser using a phone, tablet, any Firefox, Chrome, it doesn't matter. That doesn't require any type of special operability. So, you'll sign in. You'll have a username and password. Um, also, we can delegate additional users. Um, so it's not just one. We can have multiple users with um, unique emails and passwords, whether they're admins as well. Um, so you'll go here, you'll log in. And once you're logged in, you'll see a screen just like this. Now, this screen is going to be a little bit different for you guys because this screen, you can see the amount of sites that I have under Wix, which is really neat as you guys may grow or build additional sites, which I don't think you'll need, but it keeps them all in one place. So you can edit and ma manipulate multiple sites at any given time by selecting and editing them. But in your guys' case, um, Claudia, you guys will just see that one site that you're working with. So let's just assume... Um, now, these are some of the most recent ones I've done. Here's Bane's Barbecue, and there's one for Turtle Shack. So in the event, let's just make pretend that this is yours, hypothetically speaking. You're going to go ahead and hit Edit Site. Okay? Now, once the site is built, you guys will then have an environment like this. <clears throat> it will be produced to you guys from head to toe in its entirety of everything that you want, and it's already built and constructed to fit your needs. But as you guys grow and may want to make changes and additions, you're going to see this, how simple it is. The top nav bar indicates what page that we're on. So you'll notice here on the left-hand side is all of the pages within the website. Those pages will be illustrated and appropriate training videos as well will be supplied for you. So don't take this video and this training session as your actual training session for your site. It will specifically meet your criteria as far as what pages are yours, which ones may be hidden and are private. But for sake of conversation in this training session, let's assume that you guys are Turtle Shack, the site's been built, and you want to see how to edit the home page. Okay? So, so far making sense? Yeah. Groovy. Now, you're going to be here once again. This is the generic way. You've just logged in. You're going to see these pages and you're going to say, well, Chenzo, I want to edit the home page. Well, we're already on it. And watch how easy this is. Let's in the event you say, I want to change the phone number. It's just like a PowerPoint presentation or one of those Word doc types of platforms where we click on it, double click twice, and here are our options. We can now change the type of text how it looks, we can change the font, we can change the font size here, bold it, italicize it, etc. Some of this, Claudia, is probably self-explanatory as you can see, okay? Adding effects to it and spacing, but the most important thing to keep in mind here is all of this is even not necessary once the site's built. You won't even need most yeah. of this all you need to do is click on this, delete, and we messed up, we have to put this. The minute you done, I'm gonna actually resort back to the way that it was. The minute you did that, check this out. And that's how easy it is. You literally, wherever you want to make your changes and additions, you click on the appropriate area, you hit, here's what's really neat as well. If you're working on something that is not want, you do not want to go live right away, there's a feature called save in the upper right hand corner. So if you're making, yeah. if you're working on it and you're going to be doing a bunch of changes, but you got distracted and or you have to disrupt your workflow, you hit save and when you come back into the back admin, the changes will be here. Until you yeah. hit publish, yeah. the site that's then stays in that saved environment. But the minute you hit this simple little button, publish, it's going to say, boom, you'll see this little load bar and it's going to say, congratulations, your site is published. Now, sometimes it's a little bit annoying because it's going to say, do you want to do anything in addition? No, you could just hit, and I usually say, don't show this again because it wants you to share it on your email list, blah, blah, blah. Don't need that. So I usually hit don't show again, hit done. And as we speak, that site now just took those changes immediately. A secondary now, cool... Go ahead. Yeah, now, well, as far as text is concerned, um, do you have another page on this website that just has things like our, our bookmark schedule, our lunch brunch schedule, that stuff that changes all the time? Do you 
have uh, something after this, like the show's menus and stuff. What's the next page on this website? Yep. So here's a good here's a good example. Now, once again, do keep in mind that the, this easeability is going to be the same thing throughout the site. So whether it's text, and let me just show you this too, because this is the same principle. Whether it's text or even images, correct? Watch this. So let's just say okay, you want to check this out. So here's what a client can do, and or anyone internally. You guys now can click on this and you'll notice the, the rule of thumb is you click on the area that you're trying to edit and or change. You see how everything has its own little placeholder? Yeah. Now when I click on this, and once again, do keep in mind that you guys are not going to have to be shooting fish in a barrel to figure out how, how to be done. I'm going to literally have a video that says how to edit this thing from head to toe. And this would be part of the how to change your homepage slider. Once you click on it, you'll see an option that says change images. Also, once again, yeah. for sake of this conversation, don't worry about all of this because there's a ton of bells and whistles that we can do. Changing the arrows, how long do the image stay, and did, you know, I'm gonna be constructing all of that, but all of this will be all to your access, but then the most important thing is changing images. So boom, click change image. Here are the images in the slider, right? Well, that's something that you're not going to have to worry about. There was the actual initial construction of the site. And what I did was I built this box and I built this box to be a slider. So don't worry about that. And I'm glad for today's conversation and for the sake of the, um, the resources in the club, please note this. You're not going to have, don't be that pragmatic. You're, you're being, this is good. Those are good questions, but you're not going to have to worry about how did I even get that there? That's gonna be constructed for you. Don't worry about that. Once it's built, the video will show you uh, whether this is images or whether this is bookminders, whether it's a PDF, it's going to be a selectable area. You're going to hit change images or change the whatever the criteria may be. And when you click on it, it's gonna automatically then populate what's inside of that resource. Okay? Of course. I don't know uh, the next um, the next the next wave. What it looks like, it hasn't been created yet. Of course. Um, or, or the next graduates. I don't know where those. And that's okay. So, so let's let's assume that that slider area. Let's take this from head to toe. Make, let's assume that this slider area was down here at the bottom, and that's where the graduates were, like they are now. Yeah. Okay. So right, check this right. out. We're going to click on that area. We're going to hit change images. Now, it's up to us whether we want to keep those current images or if we don't and we only want the four recent graduates per year, per semester, it's as easy then, let's just say, assume for the sake of conversation, these were all the graduates from last term, right? Right. We can now do this. We can so delete, let's just say, Chenzo, we're going to be deleting them. That Boom, boom. Boom, boom, you get that. So see how they're just now being removed now. And or I can take them and drag and drop and say, well, I want these guys now at the bottom or over here, right? Yeah. Now, it's as easy as this. Now we want to add the new graduates. Well, this orange button, we're gonna click that. Yeah. And it's going to say, where are the images? Now, just like with WordPress, these are all the images that we've already used. So they saved on the site. Okay? Yeah, I want something new. Exactly. So what we're going to be doing most of the time is we're going to then on the right hand side, and once again, this is going to be all there it is. Upload the Yep, it's going to be an all in the training session for you. And it's going to say upload images. Maybe it's not even an image, maybe it's an actual PDF. But either way, we're going to upload the image. And now it's yeah. going to say to you, Claudia. Where is it? Because yeah, now it's yeah, gotcha. it, you and you're familiar That's with this. Fine. This is where is the resource? That's what I needed to say. Yep. So then once it's once it's highlighted, just very sink your teeth into it. Let's assume this is the new graduate. This shot on my computer. Right. I'm gonna open it. It's going to load. It's going to say okay. It's done. It's loaded. Now it's in our resource. See right here. I see it. Now. 
on the bottom right hand corner. Now, once again, by all means, don't try to retain this because it's gonna be in a video for training, but now you're gonna be able to hit add to gallery and bada boom, there it is. Now, here's what's even Never. more cool. Let's just say, oh, well, I want it they, I want it in the slider, but I don't want it first. I want it over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now watch this. Done. And one of the neat things and tools about it is that I can hit, now this is the back admin area. Things are clickable, things are editable, but at any point while you're working on it, you can hit preview. And now this is actually, see how nothing's actually can be clicked on and edited? It's actually the real yeah. environment you can see if this is what you want. And there it is. This yeah. would be that graduate. Yeah. See? Uh -huh. Super, yeah. super fluid. And then once again, at that point, you could say, okay, I wanna go back to the editor. And I messed up. I don't want that image there. I'm gonna then click on that environment. I'm gonna go to change images and I'm gonna go, I don't want that there. I messed up. Delete. Okay, gotcha. Now let's go to a page that has uh, 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 now a calendar. Is the calendar going to be the same? Absolutely. The calendar is going to, the way the calendar will work though, is the calendar is going to be pulling from a Google calendar. Okay? Well, that's, the same. that's the same as you have now. Exactly. So ch we, you won't have to change the calendar on the website. So I'll show you just like Breakaways. Breakaways in Flagler Beach has it the same way you're going to have it. The user, you guys will be able to go into your Gmail calendar by going into google.com, logging in, okay? Adding the events on Google and then immediately as you add the events on Google calendar, they're automatically gonna go to the website and I'll show you exactly how that, you won't have to log into the site and make the changes for that particular area because it's pulling from a Google calendar. So for instance, just like- I have to make, I have to make a UWF Google calendar. Exactly. And I will help you with that. Don't worry. Like I said, it's very easy. But you see, this is actually pulling from a Google Calendar. So the client, you will not have to go into the site. And when I go to the calendar page, for instance, on Breakaways, you'll notice there's nothing to actually edit here. This is code being produced. Google gives me this code. Yeah. Okay. And what you change on Google will automatically go to the website. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah, so you have to, that's part of your setup. You set that thing up. I set all that up for you. Yeah. Okay. I think you could probably put, and you can, and you can populate it with the stuff that we have, because I spent hours updating the calendar with all the meetings for this coming year, uh, the meetings, the general meetings, the lunch brunches, the book binders, the uh, gourmet gals, all of that kind of stuff. So... I don't want to be typing all that stuff in again because, you know, Google Calendar, uh, the, the uh, WordPress calendar was mostly a work. I understand that. Populate it with that. I don't know if you can populate it with that uh, WordPress calendar. Right. But I hope you you're seeing the fluid nature of this type of site in this platform. So for instance, look at this, right? A little edit that needs to get done. You see how this is not on f in front of this board area? It's as easy as drag. You see how this can be moved very easily and no problem? Yes, yes. It doesn't require some weird code or, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's literally as easy as this. Chen, you, once again, you guys will have access to saying, Chenzo, please change and add and move, et cetera, now like I do now. But instead of me having to manipulate code like I do now, I'm gonna, you're gonna get say, let's just say for sake of conversation, you go, Chenzo, can you change six days a week to seven and can you move the hamburger up a little bit? Check this out. Yeah. Come here. My screen just went blank. Your screen went black? Oh, there it goes. Okay. So check this out once again, for sake of conversation, Chenzo, we're now open seven days a week. Change that, that's a task. You know how you communicate with me, okay? Right. Change it to six day, seven days a week, and then I want to change the hamburger to something different. So, boom, I log in. Here's the admin. I'm going to select this area, double click it, just like a Word doc. I'm going to hit seven. I can even move it around a little bit to make it fit better. Boom. I go here, change image. There's already going to be stock images I can even use. So, for instance, these are the images that are already on the computer, and the same process, Claudia. 
upload image. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. And literally, once again, if I get caught up in some work or I don't want the site to go live yet and I want you guys to see it, you log in and you can see it before it goes live, which that's probably not going to happen. Most of the changes you guys send are definitive. As soon as I hit publish, bada bing, it's done, it's live. Right. And that's, that's it. That's what I have to say. I mean... Uh, so, so getting back to the calendar, uh, well, the initial setup, you can't bring out all the stuff that's in the calendar now into this new Google calendar. I believe, you know, I believe you're, weren't we using, let me see something here. Because it sure looks like underneath the covers is the Google calendar that WordPress uses. This calendar was, let me see here. I mean, the, the look and feel of it is exactly the same. No, it's it's literally the same thing. I am not sure. Look at it. It's the, it's the same. It's the same brown. I know. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, that's why. Because you aren't even mad at it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you aren't even doubly worse. Yeah, yeah, this here calendar sure looks like a Google, might be a Google calendar. I don't think that it, I think, let me see here. I think what we have, I, I think. I have created an event. I had it create an event, given a date, the venue, or blah, blah, blah. See, I took all of that. I did a lot of typing. I know. I can see. Let me see if... Um... I don't... I don't know. I'd have to see if we could... We could potentially... Yeah. Unfo uh, there's a possibility where we could see here's the thing I calendar export I don't see why we couldn't oh yeah look at that export it save it see the problem is that once you okay no that's gonna it's trying to save it to your own what could possibly be done is let me see Let's let's do this for the sake of the video. Let's not get hung hang, hung up on it because no, then. No, no, no. But let's do this. I'm gonna make it a point to make a. That's a, that's a hot point for me. Is let me see if I can export, which is gonna be well worth your guys's time. Export events to Google Calendar for you, and that will go into the build. Worst case, Claudia, and just for the sake of this video, it is obviously possible to re, you know implement it manually on for it. I, there is a possibility of probably doing it, but if it's a, if it's if it gets too costly, like I'm not in the business of, of doing things for you guys that you could possibly do if it okay, just takes downtime. It's time consuming, and I'm going to have that's going to be part of the presentation. Right, and now do keep in mind that I'm talking hours. Right, so I'm I would hours. rather instead of me just handing over a price that's inflated with a lot of downtime versus development time. I may say to you guys, listen, it's 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 possible, but you're gonna pay me, you know, five, six, seven hours to do it when I just would rather illustrate how to do it and then just do it you know, take the downtime to, to, to nail away on your own behalf. Because it's possible from a manual manual perspective, no ifs, ands, or buts. But my hot point, one of the many that we'll probably cover today, is I'm gonna look into exporting the exporting the events and putting them into a Google calendar that you create. And let's yeah. cross our fingers and hope that it's possible. If it's not, once again, we'll resort to a manual action. But right. just do right. realize let that. Let me know. You can research it. Let me know later. You got so it. The next case is I want to go to the Turtle Shack. And what other pages do you have? So I saw the graphics. I saw some text. Yep. Uh, uh, let's see. So the graphics, the text, um, so the pictures. Uh, let's see what else. So check this out. Let's get. I I got an idea that will probably be something rather. Um, a you have a menu on here. Yep. Like so check this out. On the menu. I want to give it a look here we go. We're gonna go to the menu. We're yeah, gonna I want to see that text. click on that page. Now their menu is actually an image. Okay. Oh, but here's what I want to show you. This is gonna be really resourceful to you guys. Watch this. Let's just assume we're building out the the the, the member the member list, right? Watch this. Right. We're gonna create a new, now you guys won't have to do this from scratch because this will be built out for you, but let's just assume this is already built out. But let me show you how easy and fast this is. We're gonna go ahead and hit add page. I'm gonna go hit, hit page. I'm gonna say member list, right? Yeah. 
Now, I'm going to hit done. Now, I have the option of it being in the nav bar or I can tuck it underneath so that it populates underneath home. So for instance, you'll see now when someone hovers over it, there's the member list, right? Or we're going to be able to make it. So I don't want to get caught up on that, but I'll be able to put this anywhere we want. But this is the fun part. Now, here's a blank page starting from scratch. Okay, now once again, you guys are going to be delivered a product that already has the meat and potatoes there. You're not going to be building pages from scratch. But what I will be doing for you is I know that the member list is going to be script driven. It's not images. It's not that. It's going to be a script um, based. So I'm going to go add. I'm going to hit text. Now here are all my options with text. The sky's the limit, but I'm going to keep it super simple for the sake of conversation. Now you'll notice the site's really neat. It already knows that this is the generic text that we've been using throughout the site, so it matches it. So I'm going to say, now in your guys' case, you're probably going to be a little bit more basic and use one of these, but for the sake of conversation, because it's more fitting to you, we're going to use, let's just say, I, I'm a paragraph, I'm going to click here. So now here's my text, okay? See how easy this is? I can drag and drop this anywhere, right? I'm building a member list right now. So watch this. Oh, member list. Yeah, I'm going to underline it, bold it. I can do whatever I want with it. I'm going to start designing it. Now check this out. I'm going to now add another text area because this is now where all the text is going to go for our member list. Now, in theory, if you guys get me a list already where I can copy and paste, I could potentially go like this and let's just say these are the member lists, right? Example, example. And here, you already have it typed out. Okay? Miss Mary 386. You know, what all, all the criteria that it's going to have. Okay? And then the address. Whatever, whatever it is that you want. You know, address, blah, blah, blah. And let's just say this put is... Name, put a name, telephone number, uh, and, uh, and, and an address. Yep. So check it out. So here would be a member, right? Now once it's in script format, it's going to even make my life or whoever's life even easier or it can be manually added to the site by just typing it in. But I'm going to go like this. Now bear with me, the fonts don't have to be like that, but you get the point, okay? We may even have it like this. So it's simple as this. So let's just assume. No, no, not at all. Let's just assume these are all your these are your members right now. We've already got a bunch, okay? Let's say we have one. Okay. So okay. let's just say you get somebody who's in between one of them. Now look at this. Here it is. Now once again, you have to bear with me. I'm going to be adding a lot more design elements. You know, this is just to get the point across that this page can be built and constructed, constructed, and then once you want to edit it. So for instance, let's say everyone's here. It's as easy as clicking in this area. And now we say, okay, well, this member left. We're going to delete her. Okay. And alphabetically yeah. speaking, you add wherever wherever it may fall. You put whatever you want. It's just like a Word doc. So maybe she's here. Maybe she's under okay, here. So you just hit the enter key a couple of times and then you click insert. That's it. Just like a Word doc. And there it is. Now, Watch this, Claudia. This is where I. This is why, and this is going to kind of, kind of bring in that continuity of why we're doing this and numbing it down a bit. Is that instead of having this big database that was accessible and could be communicating with and members talking to each other, which is not something that you guys used and capitalized on, is why we're going to bring this down to a Wix environment where it's easy to use for you and easy for the consumer. Watch what I can do with a page now. This page, once it's live, I can now click on this on the right-hand side, 
and say permissions. And now once again, this will all be yeah. set for you. So don't please like think that you gotta have to remember this and the video training session will have this as well. But permissions will be here. Now, this is what's neat. No restrictions, password protection, members only. Now I'm gonna recommend we don't do the registration process because I've gotten to know you guys, I know the club, and I don't really think you should require people registering because then things are just gonna get it gets complicated, someone doesn't know how to do it. So what I'm gonna recommend is it just password protected. So now watch this. Yeah, that's what we need. That's what we need. I'm gonna put like this, password protected, and we're just gonna say, and we can change this weekly, monthly, et cetera, it doesn't matter. And each um, page, depending on pages, can have different passwords. So I don't think you guys will need that, but just know it no, doesn't. No, we need just one, no, 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 just one. Password one password, so check this out. Every Exactly. So watch this. I'm going to hit that. And once again, you're, this will all be set for you and you guys will be able to choose your password. I'm going to hit done. And what I'm going to do now is when someone goes to this part of the site, okay, when they go to view that, I can't do it because if I hit publish, this is going to go to Turtle Shack. But when they right. go to view, when they go to view this site, they're going to see an area, they're going to see a thing that says this page is locked, enter your password. And the minute they put that password in, bada bing, they can see it. Now, what's different about this than WordPress is there's no back admin. It's just visually. So the only there's nothing that people can do as far as you know getting into their account, logging in as them. There's none of that. They're only able just to see this page, and what we put on it is up to us. So. Oh, not complicated at all. You, I would just say, like I said, maybe quarterly we change it. We, every time you guys have a a site, a, 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 you know, a, a big club meeting, and everyone's there, or even on your newsletter, maybe change it once a month, once quarterly, whatever. Or maybe you don't even need to change it at all because let's be honest, the information really isn't anything more than the yellow book has out there or a phone book. It's not like their credit card information, mother's maiden name. It's just name, phone number, and address. Now I still want it to be secure for God's sake, but it doesn't we're not carrying people's they can't log in underneath them and start doing things like in the in the WordPress environment. In theory, the WordPress environment, if someone we were requiring each individual user to have a username and password so that they could log in authentically and then be able to communicate amongst each other, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We're not going to have that anymore. We're going to numb this down yeah. use No, 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 I understand that. But in theory, the other site currently right now, if someone were to go to this website and go to log in, and you, you could create a username and password and be, you could be, remember all those fake users we were dealing with? Yeah. You won't have that issue here. Yeah, we've got a lot of fake users trying to register. Exactly. You won't have that issue because you're just going to have one page that has this information that's locked. That's it. And of course, do keep in mind, as you grow or as more pages you may want to have specific for the members, we could have a members list, maybe have a um, members dues list, whatever you, whatever you guys want. I could set up multiple pages that are password protected. It doesn't have to just be one. But I know without a doubt, this is what's going to now make our lives way easier is having one page member listing I would recommend still having a hard copy so let's just assume this was an Excel spreadsheet or something of the members right and that member yeah. we, we have two environments working so this is the visual for people to see and then we have a club one we have an internal resource page that can easily that be copies for instance if you said to me Chenzo here's our new updated members list if I were the one that wanted to carry that task you lit I could just easily select all you know, let's just say this was the member list, all these new names. Can anybody, can, any, can anybody just get on the website who has access and the password and just put themselves a list of this page? Absolutely. Once they're on this page, okay, once they're seeing this in a real environment, a consumer can come here, or a consumer, but I mean a member can come here, hit control P or just file print, and there it is. They're going to have... Just the one page, yeah, the, the, uh, just the, the list. Yeah. 
They're going to be able to That's come. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. That, that'll, be handy. that'll be handy to have, I think. Yep. And once again. But that, you, you know, you told me a very funny thing. You said, uh, you know, you can provide me with a list. Well, one of the promises with WordPress is that we're going to be able to go in there and, and, and write a report at will of our member list. And uh, we've got this wonderful database and, and, and all of this. So. You can theoretically go into WordPress and just get a first name, last name, telephone number, email address, and home address, and, 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 and for, you can provide your own report, but you know how to do that. We never got that far in the, in the, uh, in the training. Well, the, you said it was possible? Yeah, they're all here. These are all your, it's stored. All of the, the, you have right now, you have 121 active users. Okay. Yeah, they're not all active, but that's okay. Right. You can you can run a report that gives me the name, the first name, last name, telephone number, email address. It's probably sufficient. And this is what I can do right now. I can give you this report, okay. and it's going to have everything yes. that we want. Uh huh. So you invoked what? Uh, what? What did you just click to do that? Well, I'll, well, what I did was I went to users, and this was actually covered in the initial training, but I, it's been so long. Yeah, I, saw you, I saw that list of users. I saw the list, and all of a sudden, now I'm seeing this other thing. Yeah, so what, what I did this? What I did was I went to users, okay, and this was a... Yeah, back up, back up, go back to you. Yeah, you were here. Yep. Okay. What I did was I went to... What did you do? I went to users, and now I went down to export user data. Okay, okay. And check this out. Now for this, I don't need, I don't want a lot of stuff because this is going to give me way too much stuff than what we need because we're not doing anything more than I want first. Last name. And that's pretty much all I want from this. I don't want anything else. Okay. You can't get a telephone number? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's down here. Look. Name. Address. City. State. Email and phone. Two phones. Yeah, two phones. That's it for now. Although, you know, we, we, we entered all that information. My God, I hate to lose it all. Well, we're not. We're going to have it. No, but, but if we change over to the new website, all that good information that was entered is gone. No, 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 no. It's, it's not. That's what I'm saying. Right now, we're going to be able to export it and have that list. Watch this. Watch. I mean, the whole shebang, the college degrees, the birthday. Watch this. We still can export it and have a hard copy of it forever. So now watch what I just did. There it is. There's all yeah. your there's all your members. With all, with all the yeah. Yeah. See? And what I could yeah. do in theory is come here. And once again, I'm more than willing to offer let's just say that this is what I'm gonna do. Of course it's it's uh I would come here, copy and paste, and con and then paste it into the member area. Right. That's it. Yeah. I just want to, uh, I probably want to, uh, let's see, put the last name. It actually is in alphabetical order, so but it's in alphabetical order. What was the first, first name or last name? It was... It goes, it goes from, Callahan, Callahan, Capacity, yeah, yeah. It's first name. Oh, yeah. first name, okay. It's first name. All right. Well, watch it to the next cell. You do anything you want. Yeah, exactly. Uh, wouldn't mind having that Excel sheet on my computer and kind of, but I, the new mem the membership people don't know Excel at all. That's very handy. It's very, very, very handy. Yeah. Okay, so we load, download the whole shebang with a big Excel, so at least we have a backup. Exactly. And then we probably want a, a short version for the website. I don't know. I gotta see what they want to do. Want to exactly, but I think I think this is starting to make sense to you now. You see, like what we put in the live environment is up to us, but you see how fluid it is. Okay. 
Now, a backup too, if we would want, you're more than welcome if we wanted to take this member list, and this will, this will look ugly, but imagine if we took this member list and put it in a Word doc, and we wanted to take a screenshot of this, right? Check this out. And we went like this. We could also then use just an image and put this image on the site. Now, I don't think that would be ideal, but I'll show you that just to show you how even faster we could add up. It looks, it looks pretty, I'll tell you why, because the grid line. Absolutely. What you have there with this big underline is not pretty. No, of course. Now, bear with me. His name is underline, and there's no column separator. Right. No, don't, understood. And don't get me wrong. Once we go to the de design and, and implementation, this is just doing it in two seconds with you. I can have a blast and make it way more, you know, way more better, you know, with having actual like lines and stuff. But even just to show you, even if we wanted to not use script and I wanted to have take a picture of it, like I just did of the images of the yeah. uh, members, watch this just to show yeah. you. Now, the only downside to that is that we wouldn't have, see how this would be here? But of course, yeah, of course, I would have a, I would have the generic name, you know, email, blah, 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 blah. But here's the only downside to that. If someone's on a page, like for instance, now, if you go somewhere and you hit, most people know you can hit control F and start searching. So if I'm looking for something specific, so for instance, if I wanted to see where on this page it said Turtle Shack because Turtle Shack was Chenzo, I start typing in Turtle, see how it highlights it in green because I'm looking for it. You see that? Yeah. You won't, the computer won't be able to, the user won't be able to find someone's name by doing that because you'll notice, for instance, I'm going to hit Carol because I'm trying to find Carol quickly. Carol. Yeah. I'm sorry, C A L R. Yeah. See how it's not finding it because this is an image yeah. and it's not script. So I'm yeah. going to recommend yeah. we do script, but you see, we're going to have a lot of yeah. options to our, to our disposal. Well, that's the thing to think about anyway. But, All right. Are you seeing the the fluid nature of this? You see how nice and fluid and simple and it's no code and it's drag and drop and it's very, yeah, yeah, it's very, very easy. Yeah. Okay, and it's very it's simple to go ahead and find another page and say, okay, let's go to the contact page. And once again, everything's drag and drop and very easy to manipulate. Even if it's something simple as, I don't really like that there, I want it over here. Yeah, because we want to put the button to uh, Amazon.com, which is really under the cover, smile.amazon.com. Exactly. We don't want that. We want Facebook. And you notice how with WordPress, you're always, it's a fantastic platform and I wanted you guys to be on it because of the functionality from an admin perspective and for your consumers. But you guys never really took advantage of the full capacity of what it can do and because it's still, it's in a position where it needs to be monitored fine tooth and comb this is not going to need to be as monitored and it gives you the fluid nature of it's not going to be needed to be monitored at all from a security perspective because what's happening is you, we are using wix as our host this is now wix.com is our host and our website provider and we will pay them that one fixed price which is 120 dollars a year and you no longer need bluehost and now we utilize them as our resource in our platform. We don't have to worry about having Bluehost as our host, WordPress as our platform, and making sure that WordPress is in a clean, safety environment, which I've been doing for you guys, but this was a large breach. And I just, being proactive and knowing that you guys are not utilizing the WordPress to its full capacity, and I don't want to increase the monthly budget and all that jazz, I want to stay exactly where you guys are at, keep it fluid. This is achieving two things that are most pertinent, I think. One, the security measure. Two, the fluid nature and the easiness of being able to take control of the site with, once again, the training session that will be provided is right here. So for instance, once again, Bane's Barbecue is as simple as just with Turtle Shack and will be just like with yours. The training will be specifically for you where it says, okay, for UWF, if you ever want to change your logo, it's as easy as clicking there and clicking on it, changing okay, image. Kenzo, Kenzo, well, we're not going to be changing logo anytime soon, but we're going to put a wave on every month. And I had to go to you to create another box for the next 12 months. This thing's got to be more fluid. Absolutely. It's going to be a way to archive and keep things and add the next, the next wave to uh, the top of the list. So it's a 
first thing that appears. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit backwards, but we don't want people scrolling down from 2006 just to get to 2017. You got it. So we want, so we need something that that's got to be scrolling. Watch this. Every month mechanic. You got it. Watch this for sake of the training session, and then I think we're going to draw to a close because I think it's got it's going to become redundant on this. But check this out. I'm creating a wave page now. You guys won't have to do this because it will be constructed for you. And what, by by all means, please bear with me with the design aspect because this is just super fast. But I'm going to add page. I'm going to come here. It's going to be the wave. Okay. I'm going to put here now. In theory, once again, it's going to be designed way better. But watch what we'll have. There are going to be buttons, and these buttons are going to be nice and easy, good call to action for them to see and find. So let's just say this is the, let's just say once again, there's going to be script that may say 2017 September. Okay? Yeah. Watch this. Now, I'm going to add that button, and it's going to say to me, what the heck do I want this to link to? Now, watch this. Once we upload the, I'm going to say I want it to, I want it to go to a document. I'm going to choose the file and bear with me. I'm going quickly because it's it's going to be in a training session. But these will be the waves. We're going to we're, they're, if they're not here, which they won't be. You're going to go upload doc, and it's going to be the same process like an image. You're going to upload that document. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's going to upload. I'm going to click on it. It's going to pop over there. Click on it. Yep. Watch this. Yeah. Apply. Done. Now watch. Preview. Here will be the wave, right? These will be the buttons. Click on it. Bada bing. There's the wave. Now watch this. I'm going to go back. Next month's already here. I'm going to come here. I'm going to hit Control C just like on a Word doc. I'm going to hit Control V. There's another one. Boom. Change the text. Watch how, see how simple and fluid. See how fast. And that's it. So now, once again, we have to worry about, so the only thing we'll have to worry about is feedback. I get that, and then the only thing we have to worry about is overflowing the page, maybe. Well, no, this this many, is you won't. Yes, of course. Many, after after you know five years, you may want to come yeah. down here, and you won't need you but know. Clean it out. Right, but you see how easy. Let's just assume that you've got like a bunch of these now. You're like, okay, we've got a million of them. We don't need all those anymore. Well, you start cleaning it up. You come here, delete. Yeah, yeah. Here. Delete. That's it. And once again, bear with me, and I hope that you guys are, while you're watching this video at home, bear with me. The design elements will be way more, you know, it's not going to be this, this, this childish. It's going to have a nice, you know, hey, thank you for, you know, please select below to view our wave and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Just all the appropriate verbiage, maybe even a backdrop with a nice image. Trust me, it will look better. But just to show you how yeah. fluid it is, as you guys are making changes, there's no more of this logging into a code environment. And having yeah. to kind of finagle it because that's what it won't be that way anymore. It's going to be as simple as this: boom, copy, paste, and you're and you're in. Yeah, it's much that's much easier than before with that 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 way you had to do it. Going into the text like that. Yep. All right. So that's the wave. So then that's uh, remember when oh you, the only text you showed me was really. Okay, watch this. Uh, Let's do this. Let's go to our story, right? Because maybe it's a. This is our about us, right? We change. Let's assume. Let's again. Hold on. Let's again. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's just, let's assume, or let's just hypothetically speaking, let's just say that this is our about page on UWF, because you know this changes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that story. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So look at. See, let's just say this. This is our about page, and you know how this yeah, changes. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay. We're going to have the same concept, if not a little bit better on the visual. Maybe we'll clean this up and make things easier, but check this out. Let's f hypothetically say that this is our this is our page. These are the members, right? Let's just assume. And then let's say this is that photo. Now watch this. Our president changed. Let's say this is the picture of the president and her statement because that changes. Yeah, but we did that already. We did this, the changing of the picture going to that media thing and uploading it. Right. I want to see the text change. Oh, you've got to highlight the whole box. Yeah, you just click yeah. on you just click on this button. Anywhere there's text, you just click on it. That's all. See how everything's got its own little box? Mm. So in the design, uh, if I need extra room for the text, I can Right, I 
I think that that's here. That's going to change that text. So that, that'll be a box. And that president's message can change. Okay, that's one box. Which one. Roll up and you'll see. Roll up. You'll see officers. Okay. That's a little piece. Roll up. Up. I'm up. Get down. And down. Down. Oh, below. sorry. Oh, below. The next thing below. Yeah. What changes is the who are, who, who's in charge of what is Brian Wilson. All those names change maybe once a year. Right. I go there and I change that. So if you have a nice grid look, 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 uh, appearance like this, if you have a nice appearance, you know, I want to know how easy it is. Yeah. To go in and so let's just say I've got. I'm going to get a grid going. I'm going to let's just let's just say for. It's. I don't want to. I don't want to do it like right in front of you. But I can. I can add. I can add a grid format. Right. The design will have that. And let's just say, watch. Because we use that grid in the lunch bunch, the in the bookbinders, uh, in the officers, and the uh, and I'm changing all that stuff every year. So let's just say I'm at. I'm gonna let's just make me ten. I know this is a little weird because this is not really a grid, but it's a design. It's a design element that I'll be doing for you guys. See, so make me ten. This is the grid, right? And these are these are the. Let's just say these are the. These are just like on here. These are the committees. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna build out a design element. And once again, this is really chachi because I'm I'm, I'm doing this as we speak. So bear with me, but. This is all going to be set for you, and this would say, and once again, bear with me, the colors and all that crap, it's not really going to be, you know, but see how I'm going to go here, I'm going to have committees, and then these will be, the, the grid will already reflect who we who we have and who we need. But when I click on the lunch and dinner, that's going to be one person's name. Exactly. I click on that and change it. And I go to the next box, click on it and change it. Exactly. You get you're now you're getting it. So like let's just say this is right here says you know it's no longer Jane Mealy it's Chenzo, boom. Right, right. All that kind of. And it will already be laid out for you. And as you add them, let's just say you ever remember how the other site was so cumbersome to add it. You could add a box. You had to call me or email me. Watch this. Exactly. Yep. Watch this. It'll be as easy as this. Once again, it'll be in the training session, but it'll be as easy as this. Boom, adding the box, you tuck it right underneath there. And once again, these aren't even. This is this is more this is more whimsical look. Yours is going to be real, you know, professional boxes. But it's as easy as just copy and pasting and adding the box. See? Do that again. Where's the copy? I'm hitting Control C. You can't see it, but you see in the upper. Oh, you can't see it, but it's just like on a Word doc when you hit Control C. Oh, you did edit, edit, copy. Yep, I went edit, copy. Yeah, that's it, Claudia. You're never gonna. I told you, you weren't gonna believe it. It's that easy. It's copy, and then I'm gonna hit paste. Watch, paste, and just like that, there it is. It's another one, and that there's another one. See? No more, no more code, no more scary anything. It's all right there, and I'm literally building this, and that's it. I mean, like I'm. Li it's literally just like a Word doc or a PowerPoint presentation. I can move anything. It's all editable. And uh, make me ten. I'm literally now building this page. And that's it. And as you need. See that horrible yellow? I can't see those letters. See that horrible yellow? Yeah, these are in yellow. Well, do keep keep in mind that we got when we got hacked, all the color changes and the color palettes went went haywire. So this wasn't how they originally was. So all this is stuff that I can't even manipulate anymore. Hence, I'm trying to deliver this as a as a rectification on getting the site secure and also in a more fluid environment for you guys. So what I'd like to do today is let me do this. Let me conclude the video. We can still stay on the phone. Let me conclude this video, okay?